Does this look familiar? Of course it does. You have air ride problems. If you have the rear end sagging like this, you most likely have a few issues going on and I'm about to go over them and help you diagnose it so you can get your back end back up. Now right underneath the air ride compressor is the air ride compressor relay and it's a solid state relay so you'll have the key on and all doors closed and then you come down here and disconnect this relay and then you'll reconnect it and all of a sudden air ride will work pump up the rear everything's great and dandy you'll think I have just reset the relay it must need a relay now while the relays are common what's more common is the actual plating problem on this stock pigtail and the only way to fix that is to replace with a new pigtail from Motorcraft. Now Motorcraft does sell a pigtail made just for this. It's a little expensive. Uh, it's not too bad. So right there is an easy, easy check and a lot of times that will happen. You will disconnect it, you will reconnect it, and all of a sudden everything's working. And it may go an hour, it may go a day, and all of a sudden it doesn't work again. In order to fix this issue, if that fixed it and it came back on for you, you need to replace the relay and that pigtail. And you should be all set with that. Now if that did not fix it and your air ride compressor still does not come on, we're going to do some real simple tests with this uh, relay to tell you if we need to go any further with an air compressor or not. Now looking at this, these two thick wires right here are our power wires. One's coming in, and then the other one goes out to the uh, pump itself, the air ride compressor. These thin gauge wires right here, these ones are just control wires. For our first test, what we're going to do is jumper this wire and this wire, two fat ones. And what it is that the one wire has a constant um, hot at all times, key on doesn't matter, off doesn't matter, and then the other one goes directly to the air ride compressor. The ground at the air ride compressor is constant. And what this is going to check is it's going to check both of these circuits, the power coming in, the fuse, everything, and it's going to check the wire and the whole harness back to the pump for uh, the ability to carry the current and to make sure it's not an open circuit of course and you'll easily be able to hear it being right here um, the pump be right there easily hear it now all you gotta do is put have a jumper like this something like this you can even use wire like this and strip the ends bare and then put one side in and then you're gonna pop it into the terminal on the other one and put it on there fast because it's a high amperage and it will arc. So you just put it on there fast and you can keep it on there. It's not going to heat up too much. Over time it will, of course. But once you hear the pump running, we're good. So I'll do it now. Right there we just checked the whole circuit and the pump. Now my pump is working but mine's broken internally so that's why mine's making the noise right now. Now if you connect these up like this and your pump sounds normal the way it always has sounded for years or whatever then you know your pump most likely is okay. Next we need to do is test these two small wires going into the relay make sure the relay is actually being commanded on. Moving on, we're going to test the small constant ground for the control part of the solid state relay. That's it's a light green with red. It's right here in the middle. This one right here. And then we're going to jumper it to the light blue and red wire. I believe it's right here. That's the one that's constantly hot. And we're just going to use that constant hot for our positive, and this is a constant ground. We'll be able to test that ground 
right there to make sure that it has the load uh, carrying capability and that's actually getting it ground. We, we already know this is already getting a positive. We've just tested that. That's our constant hot. So what I use is um, a little uh, window motor. It's going to wire it up just for this to do a load test. You can use a test light as an incandescent bulb and it'll provide some kind of load to it and pull some amperage. You can see we got it connected up and we are able to run my window motor. And it provides a nice draw on those two circuits and tells us they're both good. Now for the last and final uh, wire we need to test in this relay, it's this one right here. Okay, that's the command, that's the ground command from the air suspension module itself. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to use this positive again as our positive source, since we know it's good. And then we're going to put a test light into this pin for that wire coming from the module. Go over and turn your key off and then back on. And then close the doors. And then come over here and you got to look and see if we're getting that ground or not and it's actually commanding the compressor on. So if you are going to put a test light on this circuit, that ground circuit, the far right one, as I showed you earlier when the lights were on, your test light's only going to light up very dim like this. It's not going to be bright. If you put any kind of load on to load test the circuit, quote unquote, like my window motor, it's not going to be able to handle it and the voltage is going to drop. So don't misdiagnose that as being a circuit that cannot handle the current as uh, most times when you test a circuit you do it with um, high amperage device like I tested the other circuits on here. This control circuit, not the same. So as long as this lights up or you get voltage reading on your multimeter which is not load tested. These are two of the same. You know it's okay. But it must light up. Now that we have tested all four circuits on this connector for this relay, if every one of these has passed, we now need to go after the relay itself. Unfortunately, there's no way to actually test the insides of the relay so replacement is the only option for that. Like I said, they are common enough that uh, if you tested all four of these the way I've shown you and your motor comes on only bypass the relay in the beginning of this video, then we know we need to change that relay out. Now, if you have bypassed the relay down below with the high amperage wires down there and it didn't make a blip, it didn't pull amperage, it didn't spark, it didn't do anything. What we need to do is go after the pump itself. Disconnected the connector for the air ride compressor. And all you gotta do now to test it directly is put power to the red and black wires on here. And just follow them up to their pins. And that's the power and ground for the motor itself. Now red is obviously positive and black is negative but either way it'll run and pull amperage and we'll see sparks and we'll know if it's running or not. Now the other thing to watch out for is the height suspension sensor popping off. They had a problem with that for a while mainly when they went to a linkage system and those were on the passenger side of the um, axle here. These ones on the older ones really didn't have an issue with them popping off. It's more the linkage style ones of uh, the newer years.